Today it's finally time to finish this bad boy with dust, with mud, with rust, and all the really good thing for an awesome weathering project. Alright guys, so the first step uh, in this case we will do some uh, some rust. So the first layer will be with uh, German Grey. Uh, I will use the stippling method in this case uh, and using a sponge uh, that you uh, can easily find everywhere. The second layer of it will be dark rust. So um, you apply the German Grey all over uh, the place that you want uh, the rust to appear and you just put some dark rust on top of it. Try to focus on the recess area and the place that uh, you feel that um, there will be more rust. The next step of our rust process will be using light rust. Again, it's all by Vallejo products, uh, Panzer Aces, um, if you are an armor modeler, all the Panzer Aces uh, brand of Vallejo is absolutely amazing for you guys. Now it's time to apply a wash. I will use a rust wash again by Vallejo. Uh, I'm using all acrylic product uh, in this case uh, with this tank. So uh, by using uh, for the rust part, I would say, uh, not all of this tank, but um, on this part of the rust process, I will use exclusively uh, acrylic product. And honestly guys, if you follow this step uh, for every single time you want to, uh, to get a rust feel on any of your part, you can just follow this step-by-step -step process and your rust um, will look amazing every single time. So it's a simple process just uh, by using four different product and you can do uh, everything with it. So I'm just gonna add some oil stains um, just to add some little bit more details I would say and uh, I will focus on the place that uh, there's some oil spill and on the turret also there's some uh, there's some oil uh, stains that uh, could appear uh, near the turret area. So guys, if you enjoy what I'm doing, um, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you will uh, get notified uh, every time a new video will pops on. With everything that we already did so far, with the rust stones, the oil stains, and uh, like I said, we will do a lot more uh, a little bit later on this video, but right away you can feel that your, um, your tank is uh, damaged and uh, I would say battle ready. So that's exactly what we're looking for to get uh, as much realism as possible when you're building a tank. Uh, the color, uh, you have to be true to the color, but the weathering, it's up to you. I'm gonna use dark earth and thick mud, uh, one from AK and the other one from Vallejo, and we will start working on the train tracks. So. Basically, I'm just going to add some kind of a layers to add some texture to our train tracks and I'm just going to remove the excess on all the skates of the uh, train tracks. So don't forget to uh, basically do it all over uh, your train tracks and not train, but your, your tank tracks. Um, basically, it's going to give you, like I said, we will do a little bit more different things later with this, but it's already going to add uh, some layers. Now we're gonna use a product called Dust um, Deposit, so Dirt and Dust Deposit. Depending on the look you are looking for, you can add just a little bit, or you can add, uh, like I did uh, in this case, uh, a, lot, uh, a lot of dust. That's my goal with this tank, because like I said, it's gonna be in Normandy. So, and uh, this region of Normandy is full with, uh, with dust and mud and different things like that. So that's why I'm, I'm aiming to get uh, as much realistic as possible. So basically, after you apply the dust, you're just gonna use a, 
an uh, enamel uh, thinner. This, in this case, I'm using Tamiya. And you're just gonna remove the excess um, dust uh, that you apply by doing some streaking. So basically, streaking is basically up and down uh, method that you do just basically thin down your dust uh, look. And honestly, when it dry, it's gonna feel like it's really a streak of uh, real dust. So it's an amazing product. If you want to start weathering your uh, your tank, I would say this dust uh, product is super amazing. And you will see it on the turret, it's even more uh, realistic. So I'm just gonna apply some dots of, uh, of dust. And like I said, just by uh, doing a streaking method with a, a paintbrush, right there you will see uh, that you have some amazing dusty looking. And don't forget the wheels. Um, basically, the wheels are the in the front end of uh, everything that uh, is going to be uh, all dirty and different things like that. So, again. Dirt and dust, it's up to you depending on what you want to achieve. But honestly, it's always going to give you uh, an amazing look to any of your tank. And again, the cleanup process uh, works with enamel thinner in this case because it's an enamel product. Um, like I said, again, depending on uh, what the amount of dust or, or mud you are looking for, you're just gonna remove uh, as much as you can and as much as you are looking for. We're gonna work with another weathering product. Uh, in this case, it's pigments. So it's European Earth by AK Interactive. And in this case, it's gonna give uh, a more dusty uh, look. Even if the, the dust enamel product is absolutely fantastic, but the pigment is gonna give you a real dusty look and that's exactly what you're looking for uh, basically you can basically use some uh, pigment binders and things like that in this case i'm not using anything it's only a matter of applying and uh, getting as much real as possible and after that when we finish our product uh, our, our weathering we're just going to apply a varnish on it so it's going to basically uh, stuck uh, the place that you um, do you apply your pigments So after you apply your dust dust is basically dry earth and you're just gonna basically use the speckling method So you can use a toothpick or any other uh, product like that But again, you're focusing on the place that you are uh, Want as much dirt as possible in this case this tank will be uh, really dirty so that's why I'm applying uh, the speckling method all over the place. And the good thing is it's an enamel product again. So if you add too much uh, in a place, you can just remove it by using a, an enamel thinner. So again, um, this process with this tank, uh, it's really, really dusty. So I'm just going to be using some uh, a graphite stick. Uh, just to focus on the uh, the, the blade of the tr the uh, tank tracks, uh, it's gonna give you a little bit more realistic look to it. Again, this tank will be dirty as a hell, so I'm gonna use a mix of pigments and also some two millimeter static grass. I'm just going to basically do a mix and uh, mix it together and after that I will be able to apply it uh, on really uh, specific part of the tank. Um, basically it's super easy, again it's going to give you more realistic look to any of your build that you do and it's super easy. Basically you just apply it with a spoon or a piece of uh, I would say wood or whatever you don't have to have a specific uh, tools to do it. You're just going to apply. You can even work with your hands. Uh, it's super easy. And the most important, important part, sorry, <laughs> uh, is to basically be gentle with your um, your dust and, and and mud because you don't have you don't want to apply it too much. And after that, when you're going to seal it. 
uh, the best thing to do uh, is sand and ballast freeze from AMS. Uh, this product is absolutely awesome. I use it all the time with uh, the, the diorama that I build or any vehicle when I want to stick something on it. The sand and ballast freeze. And it, when it dry, it doesn't look wet or shiny or it's, it's really matte. So it's a, a, a beautiful product. So VMS did some really good product. It's uh, I would say a smaller company uh, compared to uh, to Mia, Vallejo, or AK Interactive, or even Hamomig. But they have a uh, really good product. I really recommend the the product, the pigments, and different things like that. So the last step I would say is to apply the dark mud because the dust part of it. It's kind of a, the dry uh, mud and now uh, with uh, those parts uh, you're just going to apply basically fresh mud. So um, that's why I'm using uh, basically as, a, as the first layer and the dust deposit uh, I'm just going to apply on top uh, of our wheels. So that, uh, that way it's going to look and the important part is we're just going to blend all um, the two different layers together so it's going to make a, a more uh, realistic uh, finish and just one last simple step just apply some pigment so it's uh, basically it's uh, carbon uh, black carbon uh, pigment I'm just going to apply it on the top of the barrel so now you have all the tools you need to do an amazing weathering finish to your tank. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Next week will be a little bit different video about something really, really fun. So I hope you will be there. See you in the next one.